Welcome back to the most thrilling episode of What's the Real Source of Gravity? The unimaginable advancement of technology has allowed us to unravel space mysteries. Today, we take you on an exhilarating journey through the time mystery. As we traverse this domain at light speed, let's trek carefully. Even the slightest misstep, even the faintest leak of our temporal pace into the spatial dimensions could lead us to a scary fate. But don't be alarmed just yet. Buckle up, folks, and don't look down as we dive into the incredible world of time and gravity. Before jumping into the nitty-gritty of time, don't forget to quickly hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for future episodes. Have you ever stopped to question, why do our GPS satellites tick faster by an astounding factor of one in a billion, throwing off their position accuracy by kilometer per day? Could it be that gravity is not the force warping time, but time itself causing gravity? Let's indulge in a bit of time travel, shall we? Did you know clocks run slower in gravitational fields? It's a fact. A one in a billion error causes our GPS satellites to be 11 kilometer off in their positional accuracy every day one of the largest errors ever recorded. However, this gravitational time dilation is not merely a fluke, but a mathematical certainty. As sure as one plus one equals two, this all ties back to Einstein's relativity theory, which states that the speed of light is constant for all observers, and the force produced by acceleration is fundamentally the same as that induced by gravity, the so-called equivalence principle. But let's be honest, it leaves much to be desired regarding explanation, we understand that gravity must slow time for everything to logically make sense. And an array of ingenious experiments confirms that gravity causes time to slow down. Yet we never truly explained why or how this happens. And in a surprising twist, we're not going to do that just yet. Because in a way, it's not necessarily accurate. Gravity doesn't warp the flow of time. Rather, it's the warping of time that gives rise to gravity. Interestingly, we're about to delve into this fascinating phenomenon right now. Let's begin with an apple. Imagine a crisp red apple floating in the void of space, not subjected to any gravitational pull or external forces. If this apple begins in a stationary state, it will remain unmoving, at least concerning the three spatial dimensions. However, it's important to remember that every object continuously moves through the dimension of time. Let's revisit our old acquaintance, the space-time diagram to visualize this. For simplicity, let's consider two dimensions of space, leaving room for time. The object moving upwards on the diagram signifies progression through time. One could infer that it retains a positive velocity through time and a zero velocity through space. This understanding becomes pivotal when exploring gravity's relationship with time, a correlation we've been delving into throughout this series. Let's visualize a soccer ball suspended in the vast expanse of space not influenced by any gravitational force. This soccer ball, like any other object, is continually progressing through the dimension of time. Now consider a colossal celestial body. Let's say the Earth. The presence of mass warps space-time, causing gravitational time dilation. This effect means clocks closer to the Earth move more slowly through time than further away. Suppose this phenomenon uses a collection of identical wristwatches. For each tick of a distant watch, a watch closer to the Earth takes longer to tick. It's as if time flows in a gradient, with faster streams farther from Earth and slower streams near it, mirroring how water at the center of a stream flows more quickly than at the edges. Now imagine an object sitting in this time stream. An object's parts further away from the Earth age faster, right? Yes, but that's not the entire picture. Consider an object comprised of countless miniature wristwatches, each ticking at its own pace each with a velocity vector in time. The overall temporal velocity of the object, the four velocity as we call it in Einstein's theory of relativity, factors in the combined effects of these individual velocities. To understand this, let's envision a flowing river with two boats. The boat near the river's edge moves slowly, while the one near the center moves faster. If the slow boat extends an oar that the fast boat grabs, the fast boat gets pulled toward the shore. Similarly, in a gravitational field, the gradient of velocities causes the overall four velocity of an object to rotate, which is always in the direction of decreasing flow. Essentially, any object in a gravitational field gradually picks up velocity in the downward direction, 
accelerating and pays for that acceleration by decelerating in the time direction. Suffice it to say that everything travels at the speed of light in some way. Light travels at the speed of light through space and a stationary mass moves at maximum speed in the temporal direction. Falling objects trade some of their enormous velocity through time. For a small velocity through space, the conversion rate appears favorable for space as an apple gains a rapid downward plunge for a negligible slowing of its clock. Regardless, we're still left with a few puzzling questions. What about light itself? How does it get affected by gravitational fields if it has no velocity through time to trade? Light does bend in a gravitational field, a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing observed by astronomers. The effect results from mass warping space, causing light to travel on a curved path. But why does mass warp space? To understand this, we must first look at space-time curvature. According to Einstein's theory, matter and energy create ripples in space-time. Suppose you remember our earlier discussion about the apple floating in space. In that case, you'll recall that it remains concerning the three spatial dimensions but continually moves through time. But if we introduce a massive object into this space, its mass will create ripples or curves in space-time. These curves act as valleys and hills in the dimension of time, changing their gradient and causing objects to move along these curves instead of moving in a straight line through time. So, it's not that gravity warps the flow of time, but that mass and energy create ripples in space-time, causing objects to move in a curved path. This understanding is crucial in explaining the concept of gravitational acceleration and its relationship with time dilation. With this newfound knowledge, we can understand the complex and interconnected nature of gravity, time and space. And who knows what other mysteries await us as we explore this captivating phenomenon's depths. It's clear that gravity is far from a simple force. It holds the key to unraveling some of the universe's most profound secrets. To understand how the flow of time determines the path of even timeless particles, we need to shift our perspective in several mind-boggling ways. The source of gravity might seem oddly counter to everything we've discussed, but it's just as correct. Mass and energy truly warp the fabric of space-time, influencing everything from the smallest particles to the most massive celestial bodies. So next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember that every object you see continuously moves through time, uniquely shaped by gravity's powerful influence. And who knows, maybe one day we'll unlock the secrets of gravity entirely. Our understanding of gravity and time is intricately intertwined, a dance of cosmic proportions choreographed by the principles of relativity. Objects in a gravitational field trade their velocity in time for velocity in space, a concept beautifully illustrating the interconnectedness of our universe. Light, an entity seemingly immune to time, bends under the weight of gravity, proving yet again that everything in our universe is subject to these fundamental laws. Our voyage through the realm of relativity continues, each discovery paving the way for even more mind-boggling revelations. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for more astonishing insights into the fabric of space-time.